Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of new Pokemon information to take a look at. More Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl glitches, more leaks for Legends Arceus, pre-order bonuses, the whole lot. We will be covering it in today's video. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. With all of that out of the way though, Let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at one of the newer glitches in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So this is post-update 1.1.2. It is the menu glitch. It is still in the game, but obviously is not as good as the original. This is still used to get the likes of Shaman and stuff. It's a lot more difficult than the original uh, glitch method, but it is still possible. Uh, but anyway, this was tweeted out by Eclipse, who says, Okay, so for the first ever discovered method to use menu storage, the old one through both Boulders and strength still works in 1.1.2. Problem is, we can't double menu storage with this method. Only overlay one layer of menu, so all the stuff that requires two menus can't be done, like cloning. So yeah, this is like still in the game. It's still a glitch. It allows you to get the likes of Shaman and stuff, um, but obviously it's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more time consuming, but it is still possible to get the likes of Shaman in the newer update. I think there's videos on YouTube about it. Um, it's not as easy as like the old one where you literally just had to menu glitch and then you could just surf around the, the, the Elite Four and stuff. Um, but yeah, basically this is like the glitch. So as you can see, like they go up to like a strength boulder and then you kind of just do the menu glitch there and you can run around in the background and stuff. And this allows you to do a bunch of different things. But again, it doesn't allow you to clone. It doesn't allow you to uh, like clone items and stuff like that. It is just simply for um, getting like shaman and, and, and stuff like that. So there are still menu glitches in um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They're just not as good as they were in update 1.1.1. So um, yeah, of course, the only ways around this is I think you can delete like your game and then you reinstall it without like any updates. But then it goes back to version 1.1.1. Um, where there's like bad music and everything like that. But uh, yeah, basically the games are getting more and more patched. And I'm guessing the next update will patch all of this as well. So uh, hopefully we do get some sort of update regarding like Shaman and Darkrai and stuff in the near future. I feel like there's going to be a Legends Arceus event um, to coincide with the release of Legends Arceus um, around January time. But hopefully Shaman and Darkrai come out before that. I really hope it's not a paid DLC because that would be ridiculous because a lot of people would have got shaman for free by glitching and then the people that didn't glitch would have had to pay so that would have been like a really really awful like moral standing thing so uh yeah it shouldn't be paid in the slightest but uh yeah that is the menu glitch it is still in brilliant diamond and shining pearl it's just not as good as the uh, as the one that was available in the update 1.1.1 coming up next i want to talk about pokemon legends arceus so this was posted on the r slash pokeleaks reddit by surfer guy 19 and they found something interesting on the nintendo website so it says nintendo eShop page for pokemon legends arceus mentions two players and in-game purchases used for games with dlc usually so the two players i think is just the trading thing we already know that you can trade in pokemon legends arceus but that's all you can do you can't battle and stuff that's already been confirmed on the actual pokemon website but here it also says in-game purchases which is usually used for games with dlc so this could be more of a reason as to why legends arceus could be seeing some dlc further on in the year of 2022 um, because as you can see it says up to two players there but again that's nothing crazy we know that's because of the trading um but uh yeah it does say uh, like the, the the whole kind of uh, in-game purchases and stuff like that so i'm not really sure what it means about that we've obviously got people replying saying bdsp said in-game purchases but there is nothing in the game that makes it uh, seem like we'll get dlc uh there is Sh shaman dark right arceus could be all a part of one dlc my guess is arceus thing and when they update home pokemon go and bdsp to allow for some mons from his sui to be transferred since the text came across space and time to join from Sinnoh of old would indicate future pokemon legends arceus uh mons compatibility even though it now has been confirmed that you will not be able to trade with legends arceus with brilliant diamond and shining pearl bdsp will only be able to trade with bdsp um you can't trade with any other games you can trade into pokemon home and then those pokemon from home into another game like legends arceus but yeah you can't try trade directly from bdsp into another game um so this also worries me a little bit the fact that bdsp also says that there's in-game purchases um uh, because that means that there might be paid dlc in pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl so the likes of shaman Darkrai, and arceus 
might be behind a paywall, which again is really, really unfair because a lot of people glitched their way to Shaman um, and got it for free and then they didn't have to pay anything. Of course, they'll have to pay to get like Darkrai and Arceus and stuff, uh, but everyone else that didn't glitch would have to pay for those. So I feel like it's very, very unfair on those people. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see what this is. Uh, again, it's no confirmation that we are getting DLC or there is going to be paid DLC and BDSP or anything like that. It's just that on the actual website, it says there is paid content or in-game purchases for Pokemon at Legends Arceus. So again, we'll just have to wait and discover what all of that is about. Um, but again, I think that I, I, I'd like to think that Legends Arceus will have um, DLC. I feel like it is a game that definitely screams DLC. I mean, it's a very much uh, focused single player game, uh, just like Breath of the Wild. Uh, and whether the DLC is like a standalone thing you buy or it is going to incorporate be incorporated into the whole um, new Nintendo online service like Animal Crossing DLC was, we'll have to wait and see for that. Um, but either way, Legends Arceus apparently has in-game purchases. Next up, we're going to be going over this, which is a um, Arceus fan, which is a purchase bonus. And this is for Southeast Asia. So you can only get this pre-order bonus or purchase bonus, whatever you want to call it, if you are um, in the Southeast Asian um, kind of region. But it says the Arceus Pokemon Legends uh, reserves in Southeast Asia will feature this Arceus fan. So yeah, it's a really, really cool fan that you get. Um, again, with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, there's pre-order bonuses everywhere. Like um, some places like in America got really, really unfortunate with their pre-order pre -order bonuses. You had to like buy the double pack to get like some key rings. Whereas places in the UK, you could just get like um, a map, you could get like a figurine, you could get like a plushie, all these different things uh, in, in the UK and just in Europe in general, there was really, really good pre-order bonuses. And it seems to be the same with Legends Arceus, you know, there are plushies of Arceus, there are figurines of Arceus, um, there's posters, there's fans, there's loads and loads of different pre-order bonuses for Pokemon at Legends Arceus. And this is some more stuff as well. This isn't pre-order bonuses, it's just more kind of Legends Arceus accessories that are coming out when the game kind of drops. This was tweeted out by Pokemon Center, and they said uh, the company Hori has announced new accessories for the Nintendo Switch based on Pokemon Legends Arceus. So here we have the accessories, so you kind of have like a Switch case. You have some really interesting Joy-Cons here as well, uh, which again are licensed by Nintendo. But yeah, they just feel like they're really difficult to hold. If, I don't know, they look really, really uncomfortable. I do like the backpack. Uh, these are more like in-depth images though. So this is the Legends Arceus Switch case, which I really, really like. It's got the picture of the Pokeball in the background, got Arceus there. Um, and then here again is the backpack. And then this is the really weird Joy-Cons. I don't know, they just look really clunky for me. I'm not a huge fan of those. I don't know how they would feel to play, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about those ones. Uh, and then we also have this as well, uh, which is the inside of the bag. Um, and then this is kind of the Pokeball little zip thing, which I really, really like. And then again, that's just kind of the bag. So yeah, it's not like your normal standard big rucksack bag. It just kind of goes across your bag. It looks really cool. I'm a big fan of that. And then of course, that's how the Switch goes into the case. But again, I'm not a massive fan of those Joy-Cons at all. But yeah, that's just some more extra Legends Arceus kind of merch and stuff that you can purchase from that website. And then finishing things off, we have this post on the r slash Pokeleaks Reddit um, posted by Mobile Rays. And they said, hmm, interesting, Gen 9. Pokemon Legends Arceus, maybe Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC or whatever. So this was a tweet from the Chinese Riddler who again has had his credibility skyrocketed and stuff with the re uh, with the recent kind of um, reveals and stuff like that. And it says, oh geez, the Chinese Riddler mentioned me on the Chinese social media uh, Tiba. If you see this tweet, please DM me. We should exchange some information about the future plans like Pokemon Legends Arceus, Gen 9, etc. Um, so the fact that they're like, they're talking about Pokemon Legends Arceus future plans, that feels like the game like not finished um, when it comes out in January, because obviously it comes out in like, well next month. And the fact that it says future plans like Pokemon Legends Arceus, that just kind of gives you the vibe that, yeah, they're not done with Pokemon Legends Arceus when the game drops. So again, that just kind of gives me more of a, a, a just kind of a, like a DLC vibe to the game, which again is also supported by these in-game purchases as well that is on the Nintendo website. And as well as that, they talk about Gen 9, etc. as well. And then people are kind of replying in the comments, just kind of saying like how reliable this Chinese uh, Riddler is. Uh, because he is, you know, a lot of the recent reveals and stuff, he got obviously the uh, Hisui and Zoro online right. Uh, at the time I'm recording this video, Voltorb hasn't been revealed, but I mean, it might be by the time this video goes live and obviously he leaked that. So yeah, I mean, there's been a massive uh, like Hisui and Voltorb kind of 
hint on the website and everything but again it might have already been revealed by the time this video goes live but we'll have to wait and see uh, but either way that is going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below let's try and at 500 likes it really helps out leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we discovered uh, discussed in today's video uh, what are your thoughts on the potential in-game bonuses uh, for legends arceus bdsp what do you think about the glitches and stuff let me know subscribe if you're brand new uh, that's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time Peace.